Once, there was a little fellow named Rusty, just about your age. His mother wanted him to be a musician, and once a week she would take him to Miss Spear, the piano teacher, to study. Every day at home, Rusty would have to sit at the piano and practice the scales. After a while, Rusty grew very tired of playing the same thing over and over again, until one day... Scales! They're no fun! If I could play a real piece, maybe... But just plain old scales. I don't think I like this old piano anyway. Mom isn't home. So I'll just sit in this big old chair. She'll think I've been practicing all the time. Anyway, I'm sleepy. I can have a good rest. <sighs> this is more like it. Uh... Rusty. Rusty, wake up. What? Huh? Where am I? You're in Orchestraville. Orchestraville? Where's that? Orchestraville is where all the instruments live. The violins, trumpets, drums, all the musical instruments. Even your friend, the piano. The piano is no friend of mine. I don't like the piano. Oh, I wouldn't say that, Rusty. After all, some of my best friends are pianos. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? I'm the conductor of Orchestraville. I rule over all the instruments. Would you like to meet some of them? I... I want to go home. Oh, come now, Rusty. All the instruments like to have visitors, and we'll be glad to meet you. Except maybe Peter the piano. You haven't said very nice things about him, you know. What do instruments know, anyway? They can't talk or say anything. I wouldn't be too sure of that, Rusty. Look, here comes Vera the violin. Why don't you say hello to her and see whether she can talk or not? Uh, 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 hello, Miss Violin. Why, you can really talk. Uh, why don't you play something with Vera, Rusty? But I can't play the violin. Oh, yes, you can. You see, any little boy who is lucky enough to get into Orchestraville can play any instrument he wants. Go ahead, Rusty. Put the violin under your chin and try. Well, I'll try, but... I can! I can play the violin! Yes, Rusty. See if you can play Zagoin of Eisen by Sarasati. Violin's mother and father, the cello and big bass viol. Uh, um... My, you have a deep voice, Mr. Bass Viol. I'm afraid he's a little big for you to play. Why don't you try playing the cello first? I'd be honored, Master Rusty, if you would. All right, if you think I can. Try a part of the swan by Sasson. Can I play the big bass viol, too? 
Well, all right. Boy. <laughs> I don't think the piano feels any too friendly toward you, Rusty. Suppose we meet one of the most distinguished members of the brass family, Tommy the Trumpet. A trumpet? A real trumpet? Gosh. Well, say goodbye to your string friends and I'll take you to his house. Goodbye. Goodbye. I've heard trumpets. They make a lot of noise. Music, Rusty, not noise. Don't let Tommy hear you talk that way. Here's the trumpet now. Look how bright and shining he is. I want to play him. What would you like to play? Play uh, Tommy's favorite, the Carnival of Venice. Tommy's older brother, Tony the trombone. Why does he keep sticking out his tongue at me? That's his slide. That's how he changes tones by sliding it in and out. Just like this. <laughs> Tommy the trombone just loves to play Chopin's Nocturne in E flat. Why don't you play it on him, Rusty? Well, I'll try. Listen to all of Orchestra that will play at once. All at once? Yes, Rusty. That's called an orchestra, when a lot of instruments play together. They're tuning up now. Hear them? I'm going to lead them. So let's hurry over. We are going to play the Andante from Haydn's Sublime Symphony. What did you say they're going to play? We're going to play the Sublime Symphony by Haydn. Gee, what's that about? What's the surprise? Well, Rusty, while we're walking... I'll tell you about it. Joseph Haydn lived a long time ago in Austria. When he was a little boy, he practiced his music lessons very diligently. And when he grew up, he became a great musician. Everyone loved the music he wrote, especially his beloved prince, Prince Nicholas. This prince built a brand new palace at Esterhazy where all the royal people were invited to hear Haydn conduct. But where is the surprise? Now, wait a minute, Rusty, and I'll get to that. Haydn loved his prince and was always thrilled to play before all these famous people. However, the musical concert usually came after all the guests had finished a big banquet. Then, when they would come in to hear the music, 
But the seats were so comfortable, and they had eaten so much that many of them would fall asleep during the music. <laughs> I'll bet Mr. Hyden didn't like that. Oh, by no means, Rusty. And this is where the surprise comes in. Hyden wrote a special part in the second movement of the symphony just for the people who fell asleep at his concert. He wrote it very soft and sweet and quiet, thinking that this would even help put his audience to sleep. But why would he want to do that? Well, you will see now. In the music, just about the time that Haydn thought that many of the people would just be dozing off, he had the musicians play a big, loud chord so that... I know. So that he would make everybody wake up. <laughs> That's right, Rusty. Are you going to start the music now? I want to hear that part. Uh, here we are. So we'll start right away. You stay close by me, and you can hear how Haydn played this same symphony many years ago. I'll stay close. Quiet, everyone. Quiet. <laughs> That's it. That's where the people wake up. Shh, quiet, Rusty. the people back to sleep, and then we'll have the surprise again. If you listen carefully, you might even hear the prince snoring. You enjoyed it, Rusty. Is there anyone in the orchestra you would like to meet? Peter the piano. I'm afraid he saw you and left already, Rusty. But why? Why? He's a little angry with you, Rusty, because you said unpleasant things about him when you were practicing, remember? But I didn't mean it. I really didn't mean it. Never mind him now, Rusty. Let's meet the Woodwind family. The Woodwinds? Who are they? Here they come now. I'll introduce them to you. This is Clarence the clarinet. Hello. And that thin fellow there is Popo the Opo. Good day. And the two silver fellows in the family, the flute and his baby brother, the piccolo. <laughs> and the big awkward bassoon. I am the voice of the big bassoon. And this is their cousin, Sammy the saxophone. He has all the curves in the family. Hello, Rusty. And now that you've all met Rusty, boys, how about playing something special for him? We'll be blunt I like that, all right. But how about all those big drums and bells and cymbals and things? Uh, that is the percussion family. Did you notice the big kettle drums? They just hit me on the head all the time, boy. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to be a kettle drum and have somebody beat me. All the percussion family are played by striking, Rusty. But it doesn't really hurt them. Even the little bells are struck like this. <laughs> And the chimes. And the more playful of the family, the xylophone. That's all very interesting. 
But I still think I'd like to play the piano best of all. Because you can play so many notes all at once. Well, Rusty, I'll see if Peter the piano will meet you. You see, he's so proud. Because he comes from a very old and aristocratic family, descendants of Mr. Harpsichord, you haven't been very polite to him. But I'll tell him you're sorry. Then perhaps he'll want to meet you. Well, Rusty, here's Peter the piano. I'm sorry I hit you and wouldn't practice. That's all right, Rusty. I forgive you. Now can I play you a real piece? Not just those old scales. Remember, you have to practice scales before you can play the piano well. But since you're in Orchestraville, where anyone can play without practicing, try playing the piano's favorite, The Minute Waltz by Chopin. I will. sound asleep. What? My mother. What happened to the conductor? And the piano? The piano is right over there where you left it. Now you get right back to practicing. Practicing? Oh, yes, mother. I'll practice. I'll practice hard. I'm going to be a great musician. Well, you've certainly changed. I don't know what's gotten into that boy. Sometimes I think I'll never understand. I'm really going to practice now so that I can play for real. When I practice for a long time, the first piece I'm going to play will be Chopin's Minute Waltz. That one I played in Orchestraville. Mm-hmm. 